Yes, the thing or things I've been talking about in my previous YouTube videos are Canon L primes. Specifically a 35mm f1.4 Mark II and an 85mm f1.4 IS. And I'm going to tell you why I have switched from my Sigma zoom lenses, my 18 to 35 and my 24 to 105, to these Canon L primes. But first, some footage. most important reason for the change, autofocus. Especially now that I have a Movi, autofocus is really important. The Canon L lenses focus faster and a bit more accurately than the Sigma art lenses do. They are also much quieter. although they're not quite as good as an STM lens, which is basically silent. The L lenses also have a better build quality. Not that I'm complaining about the build quality on the Sigma art lenses though. All Canon L lenses are weather sealed, although my C100 Mark II isn't. But anyway, the main difference that interests me is that the 35mm is a bit lighter than the 18 to 35 Maybe because that's a prime, but either way it means that the C100 Mark II can be mounted further forwards on the Mobi, and that means that the viewfinder is less likely to hit on the back of the gimbal. Naturally, the L lenses also have a superior image quality. There's less chromatic aberration, they're sharper, they handle lens flares better, and to my eye at least, the colours and the contrast look a bit nicer too. I imagine that there's also less distortion, but any distortion that there was on the Sigma zooms didn't really bother me. My other two reasons for making the switch aren't specific to Canon L lenses, rather to all primes in general. Having a fast aperture means that you can get a nice shallow depth of field. Now I'm used to fast 35mm lenses, but having a fast telephoto has just blown my mind. You can get shallow depth of field so easily, it's just everywhere. The image looks so nice. Not to mention that a faster lens also gives you better low light as well. And then there's the non-quantifiable reason. Every time you want a different focal length, you have to switch lenses. This makes you really think about what the best lens for the shot is, how far the camera should be away from the subject, and then you start thinking about the framing, the composition, and about the shot angle, all of that stuff. In short, Using prime lenses can make you more creative and make you a better filmmaker. Well, those are my reasons for switching from Sigma art zooms to Canon L primes. Of course, I'm not trying to bash zoom lenses or Sigma art lenses here. Zoom lenses have a time and place, and they are better for certain types of shooters. And of course, Sigma art lenses are good too. I should mention that my 18-35 Sigma art was less than half the price of one Canon L Prime. Perhaps I'm not so much switching lens systems as I am upgrading. And now I have to think about how much money I'm going to be spending on other Canon L Primes. If you enjoyed this video then please consider leaving a like and subscribing so as not to miss any new videos. See you later.